At the GOP debate, Megyn Kelly had pressed Donald Trump on the matter of whether or not he was perpetuating the war on women. And here's his answer to that. Mr. Trump, one of the things people love about you is you speak your mind and you don't use a politician's filter. However, that is not without its downsides, in particular when it comes to women. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only has Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. Your Twitter account... Thank you. For the record, it was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. Does that sound to you like the temperament of a man we should elect as president? And how will you answer the charge from Hillary Clinton, who is likely to be the Democratic nominee, that you are part of the war on women? I think the big problem this country has is being politically correct. I've been... Ch I've been challenged by so many people, and I don't frankly have time for total political correctness. And to be honest with you, this country doesn't have time either. This country is in big trouble. We don't win anymore. We lose to China. We lose to Mexico, both in trade and at the border. We lose to everybody. And frankly, what I say, and oftentimes it's fun, it's kidding, we have a good time. What I say is what I say. And honestly, Megan, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I've been very nice to you, although I could probably maybe not be based on the way you have treated me, but I wouldn't do that. But you know what? We, we need strength, we need energy, we need quickness, and we need brain in this country to turn it around. That I can tell you right now. So really, I mean, the first thing that I thought during that video was that I just feel like I'm watching a real-life parody. <laughs> I mean, what do you say about that? Now, when she stated all of these things that he had said, you called women fat pigs and whatnot, he said, no, just Rosie O'Donnell. And then she kind of pressed him more on that. She said, no, I can assure you, you've said this about multiple women. But then he said, mm, I'm sure it was about multiple women. <laughs> okay, so you just concede right then and there. He's like, yeah, I've said horrible things before. It's no surprise. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump. It's hard to break this down because it's so ridiculous. I mean, he's not purporting any type of really substantive policy issues. So really all that we can critique him on at the Humanist Report is the lunacy of his campaign and the things that he says. Now, here's what I want to get into because he says um, that he doesn't have time to be politically correct and whatnot. Yada, yada, yada. Well, Donald Trump, when you say things like it would be a pretty picture to see a woman on her knees and people get offended, then I've got news for you. They're not just getting overly offended for no reason. They have a perfectly legitimate reason to be offended at something like that because when you make these types of statements, you objectify women and diminish their entire existence. And nobody likes that. Who, who wants to be diminished down to one thing? as a sexual sexual object just like you don't want to be diminished into that ridiculous hairpiece thing that you got on your head that bird's nest women don't want to be diminished into just being sexual objects for men so they're not being overly pc you're just being a chauvinist so we later on addressed megan kelly and said if you don't like it what can i say i've been nice to you and i probably don't have to be based on the way that you've treated me but i wouldn't do that now <laughs> Apparently, he changed his mind because he later tweeted, Fox viewers give low marks to bimbo Megyn Kelly. We'll consider other programs. He just called Megyn Kelly a bimbo. So she... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. I'm not laughing that he called her the name. He basically was just called out for perpetuating a war on women by saying um, women are uh, this and that. And what does he do less than 24 hours later? He then calls the woman who accused him of this nationally at a GOP debate a bimbo. Oh, facepalm, man. I don't know what to say about it. Donald Trump, you're crazy. <laughs>
So he then finished by saying that we need to turn this country around. And he listed a bunch of platitudes that made no difference, no substance at all. So the takeaway is that regardless of how much of a joke we all think Donald Trump is, which he is, even the Republican Party thinks is a joke, you can't deny the fact that this is very entertaining. I don't like the fact that he is uh, saying all these horrific things. I think that it's very offensive. But at the same time, though, it's really interesting because you're really seeing the Republican Party scramble because of it.